What's cracking guys, Omar Esop here, back with another video. In this video today, we are going to figure out your body fat percentage. It requires no skill whatsoever on your part. It's cost effective. It, if you don't have one of these, dollar store, one dollar, that's all you need. Uh, and it's highly accurate. I'm talking more accurate usually than calipers. So this is a highly accurate method. It doesn't cost any money if you already have a tape measurement tool. If you don't, it costs you one dollar and it requires no skill on your part. From there, I'm going to tell you what you can do with this number in order to figure out whether you should bulk, cut, your fat-free mass index. Just a couple useful ways in order to manipulate this body fat percentage to your benefit. I do think some people get it twisted where they put too much stock in their body fat percentage. Quite frankly, how you look and feel is how you should assess your progress if you like the direction you're going. Do you like how your body's looking? Then keep doing it, dude. But this could be a useful tool. Until now, however, when I've taken a look on the internet, on this here YouTubes, I've seen some tutorials, some videos, and they, they're pretty good, but they either advocate for one, uh, measurement tools that are quite expensive, so home scales that cost several hundred dollars, or those, once again, calipers that you use that could be anywhere between several hundred or several thousand dollars, especially if you want the accurate ones. And then two, they require you in order to have some sort of skill. So when we talk about those calipers, if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna fuck it up. And I've used them before. You need quite a bit of experience in order to use them properly. So this is gonna be the cheapest, and the most accurate way without requiring any effort on your part. Okay, let's go into briefly now the other methods in order for me to advocate why I talk about this one or why this video is about this method in particular. So probably the most common one that you see is the skin caliper test. You have the caliper tool, what it does, it pinches different parts of your body, usually a seven site or something like that, so seven different areas of your body like chest, uh, stomach, seven different areas, and then from there, it measures the adipose tissue by pinching the skin to see how much fat is there. You use that, you use a formula to figure out a rough estimate of your body fat percentage. Now this works in theory, and it can be pretty accurate under the right professional, but that's the key word, professional. Because if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know the right site, if you don't know how to pinch correctly, this can actually be the most inaccurate way. It could be between five to eight percentage points off, and that's terrible. Within a professional using it, they could probably get between one to three percentage points, and that's really good, but again, if you don't know what you're doing, you need to pay someone in order to do this for you, and if you want to learn to do this yourself, you need to get the accurate measurement tools. They cost anywhere between several hundred dollars to several thousand dollars. So that method is out of the question. It's less accurate by and large, and it's also far more expensive. No. The second method is called the bioelectrical impedance method. All that means, usually you'll see this at the gym if you sign up. They'll put something on your wrist like so, it sends a signal through your body to try and figure out your body fat percentage. Now, there are some at home versions you can get. Uh, you get one with the scale where you stand on top of it. There's a handheld one. They're anywhere between, you know, $50 is the cheapest to several hundred dollars. If you want to get the fancy expensive one, there's several thousand dollars. But in terms of their accuracy, they're not as accurate as the method I'm going to talk about. And they're far more expensive. That is because depending upon the amount of water you consume in the day, they could be highly variable. So they're less accurate, more expensive. No. Nope. We're not going with that method. The last one I want to talk about is the DEXA scan, which is a very good method. Or also, we could talk about the underwater weighing uh, method, two methods actually I should talk about, that are quite accurate, but once again, they're expensive. Do you have a tank to submerge yourself in water in order to figure out your body fat percentage? Probably not. You probably don't have that handy, right? Um, and if you know someone, it's going to cost you quite a bit of money in order to get that estimate. My boy, Alberto Nunez, he went and got the scan, and it was accurate. but it also, once again, costs them a pretty penny. So for that reason, for everyone out there that just wants to know their body fat percentage, it's out of the question, right? You don't want to spend $100, $200 every single time you want to know your body fat percentage. Enter the solution. For this method, all you'll need, and I mean all you'll need, is a tape measurement tool like so. Get it funky, make it funky, make it neon pink like this. Go to the dollar store, ask your mom, say, hey mom, do you have a tape measurement tool? And if they do, if uh, you have one at home, you're in luck. That's all you'll need. So again, really handy, really easy, and I have to give a shout out uh, to my boy Greg Knuckles for highlighting this to me. I think uh, last year we're trying to create a program for the masses and we needed an easy way to estimate uh, body fat percentages for once again, just to every uh, person that they could do on themselves. 
And so he mentioned this to me. This is excellent. The Navy actually came up with this. I'm going to link in the description the website that you go to. I'm not endorsed. I don't. I'm not affiliated. I don't know them at all. There's a lot of websites that actually will do the formula for you. Um, but all it is, you need four data points, and the four data points are going to be your height, your weight, your neck measurement, and then your waist measurement. That's it. And with those four data points, it can actually more accurately predict your body fat percentage than those other fancier, more expensive ways. Seriously, it's usually within one to three percentage points. And in fact, if you're willing to take the risk, what you can do, just do this, it takes you like two minutes. And then if you wanna drop some coin, get that DEXA scan, which is highly accurate, and compare the two. You will find that it is within that one, maybe two percentage points as long as you do it correctly. Let's break it down. Let's break down how you do this. Step number one, get a funky tape measurement tool. I already told you, neon pink's the way to go. From there, I should tell you guys, even if you measure in inches your body, you really should flip it around and do the centimeter, the metric uh, system. The reason being a lot of the websites don't allow you to use decimals. So if you want to say, you know, your neck is 15.5 inches, it won't allow you. But centimeters, because they're smaller, uh, they're measured in smaller increments, it allows you to put like 83, 84, and so on. So it'll be far more accurate. So go metric for everything. Uh, in terms of your weight, weigh yourself in the morning, do this first thing in the morning, and in terms of your height, just enter your height. So you already got those two down pat. For me, it was 178 pounds, 81 kilos. In terms of my height, it was 177 centimeters, I believe it was, 5'9", and uh, like three quarters, something like that. So I entered 177 centimeters, so those uh, first two. For the next points, point three and four, the things that you actually have to measure, when it comes to your waist, and you need to measure it along your navel. So wherever your navel is, make sure, do it in the mirror, just take a look at yourself and put it all the way around, uh, around the circumference of your waist, making sure also that it's not loose and it's not super tight. It should be taut, but not tight, all right? So just put it around where your navel is and then take that number. For me, I got uh, 31 and a half inches, so I think that measured out to, what was that? It's like 80, I think it was like 81, something like that. So 81 centimeters is what I got in the morning for my navel. And then from there, the fourth and last point, all you need to do from there is measure your neck. Do it around the thinnest part. So from here to here, I got that thick neck. So I measured it and it turned out the thinnest part of my neck was 16 inches on the dot, which also translated to, I forget what it was in centimeters. I'll just put it up here. But I had those four data points and then from there, you just enter it inside the formula. It'll bang it out for you. Boom! I got 11% body fat. And quite frankly, I think this is pretty damn accurate. I do believe I'll throw up a photo here. Uh, this is from months ago, but this is basically how my body looks still currently. Uh, this is 11%, a true 11%. I know a lot of bros are gonna have their hearts broken because they think they're like 6% body fat. I don't know what it is about the bro code, but it is a universal code that whatever your actual body fat percentage is, you have to, when you tell your friend, you have to reduce it by five or 10 so if you're actually 20%, you said 10% man, or 15%. 15% is always that high amount that people will say, it's like, oh, I, I gotta I gotta start cutting. I'm 15%. I'm like, you're more like 25. And I've done this myself, trust me. Fat Omar thought he was jacked at 15%. So uh, just to go over this briefly, I got 11% as my rough estimate. I guarantee if I went and I got that DEXA scan, if I paid you know, $100, $200, something like that, it would work out to be roughly the same. This will save you time, money, it will be more accurate, and it will allow you to figure out how you're progressing. Alright, so now you know the secret, the most accurate way in order to measure your body fat percentage. What can you do with this number? One, you can kind of figure out what your goals are. I've always talked about this, how the higher your body fat percentage is, that P ratio, that partition ratio when you consume food, whether it goes towards building muscle or whether it goes towards storing fat, it becomes less preferable the fatter you get. What I mean is the law of leanness. The leaner you are, the easier it is to, it is to accumulate muscle mass compared to fat when you consume calories, all other things being equal. So it makes sense to be relatively lean all the time. And so when it comes time to cut, you should figure out what your upper threshold is. So if we know that being leaner, all other things being considered, is more preferable towards building muscle, how much is too fat? 
That's the question, right? How much is too fat? And I would say, just to give you like a rough number, I've seen anywhere between 15 to 18% talked about. I would say at 18%, you definitely want to start leaning out. So using this uh, uh, measurement tape and then entering the formula on the website, if you got 18%, it's probably time for you to cut. You could do a mini cut, you could do a four week cut, eight week cut, something like that. But you want to probably get down to the low teens or even below that. It's like 10%, 11%. I don't think you should get super lean. I don't think there's really any benefit unless you want those uh, striated glutes, unless you want to freak people out with how lean you are because you have a Christmas tree on your back to get a 6% body fat, a true 6%. But getting down to you know 12%, 11% should be fairly easy. After that, it's up to you how long you want to go into that lean mass phase. This entire year, I'm going to be going, and I'll make another video on this. I actually made this entire video on estimating your body fat percentage just to prime you guys for my next video that will be coming up all about my lean mass phase when I talk about body fat percentages. I'm going to go this year from this 11% and I am going to gain, I said like 12 to 15 pounds and people said like, damn, like lean muscle mass, 12 to 15, hell no man, a lot of it's going to be fat. My body fat percentage is probably going to go up to 15, 16%, something like that. And that's okay, that's acceptable because I want to build that muscle. From there, another uh, cool thing that you can use when it comes to uh, the body fat percentage, once you know this, is you can figure out that fat free mass index, how much muscle you essentially have on your body. And if we enter my number on a website, I'll link that also in the description, I think I get like 22.8, 22.9. So it's a good number, but when we talk about the natural threshold, the people who can achieve, if there is a natural threshold, I'm not there yet and I still have room to grow. Keep in mind that my first year lifting, I actually would say I got above average gains and I really haven't focused too, too much on a purely lean mass phase or just what we call, you know, bodybuilding since 2013. So if we add up the total amount of years that I've done uh, a pure bulk or pure lean mass phase, it's not that much at all. I've actually tried to be competitive at the weight that I sit around that's comfortable for me, which is about 175, 180 pounds. But this is a cool tool that you can use the fat-free mass index using the body fat percentage that we figured out in order to try and figure how far along you are in your journey, how much progress you're making and how much more room you got to grow. Anyways, guys, I hope this video was informative. I hope it helped you out. Like I said, I tried to look online to see if another video like this was done before, but it turns out, as far as I could tell, as far as Google would tell me, that it has not been done. This is a cheaper, uh, so it's more cost effective, it's more accurate, it takes no skill on your part. So really, if you wanna continue to evaluate your body fat percentage, just use this, um, and let me know once again in the comment section below what your body fat percentage is. But that's it guys, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go, you know what, I'm too damn lean. I'm 11% body fat. You know what that affords me? It affords me the opportunity to go to McDonald's every single day for the next three months. So Mickey D's, the McGriddle, it's happening. 11% body fat, man, I thought I was YouTube fat. I am YouTube kind of fat, so I can afford it. Uh, anyways, I gotta get out of here. Make sure to like the damn video. I'm looking right at you. You made it all the way to the end of the video. Like the damn video, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace. Eat your vegetables, eat your vegetables, eat your fucking vegetables.